What's up everybody, Typical Gamer here with your daily GTA 5 news, tips, tricks, easter eggs, guides, and more. And today, I have some new information from the Rockstar support forum about the PS4, Xbox One, and PC versions of GTA 5 coming out. Now, this information was quickly deleted after. Luckily, someone from the GTA forums took a screenshot, and I'm going to be posting a link to that in the description below to his post. And to further prove that this was true, the page was actually cached on Google, and was able to be viewed by anyone until recently that it was taken down. Now, this to me shows that it is 100% real, and and it is actually from Rockstar and I'll be going through all of the info found on the page and the reason to why it may have been taken down. Now some of this information includes a first person mode, animals online, new easter eggs and a ton more awesome cool stuff. Now here's some very very interesting information about the PS4, Xbox One, and PC version of GTA 5 coming out. Now this page that you can see here, I'm going to be posting it up, it talks about a lot of new jobs, weapons, vehicles, properties, player customizations, and more. And most notably though is the bullet point shown later on in the answer post which has some really significant details to it. Straight from the post it reads, in addition to the above features you'll see and then there's a bunch of bullet points and from the start it says, a brand new first person mode for vehicles that shows the interior of the vehicle including working speedometers, tachometers, dash lights, and more. A brand new first person mode while on foot, a wealth of new easter eggs and random events for story mode, new animals roaming Los Santos, animals in GTA Online with a question mark and it's in red, I'm going to talk about that a bit later. Players that transfer characters from Xbox 360 or PS3 will receive free new weapons and a free garage in GTA Online, newly overhauled character selection screen. And then finally there's a bullet point that's left blank. Now this is a ton of new information, awesome information for us to take in, and again this was taken straight from the Rockstar support form and I can confirm that it is legitimate. This is also pretty cool and pretty unexpected because this is the first time we're going to be getting first person in a GTA game without mods, so this is officially from Rockstar. What's also pretty cool is that people speculated that there wouldn't be a first person mode for PS4, Xbox One, and the PC versions of GTA 5 because in the trailer, the first trailer that was released for these versions, you could actually see a scene where it is in first person but many believe it was just a camera angle and it was just for show but that actually might be a first person angle that we will be seeing back to the article you may notice the animals in GTA online with the question mark and in red this can mean that the person writing this had been told that it may be a feature to possibly look forward to but it may possibly be removed before launch and something to that extent so that's why maybe it's in red again we don't have any information besides this so i'm just taking a guess here so don't take that as 100 percent true now this leads to a plethora of reasons as to why the post is not currently published on the rockstar website now my theories are that it could be because they were supposed to hold the information for a bit longer releasing it closer to the release date of the PS4 and Xbox One versions of GTA 5, but somebody accidentally pushed the publish button and we were able to see it. Or my other theory is that it could be also that it wasn't finished, that's why the animals part is in red with a question mark, and that's also why the last bullet point is blank and somebody published it a bit early. The two more things I want to talk about is the wealth of new easter eggs and random events for story mode. That makes me really believe that something with the Mount Chiliad easter egg, which if you didn't know, is at the top of Mount Chiliad there's like a sort of diagram and it's really confusing. Nobody figured it out and I'm guessing it's going to be coming in GTA 5 for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. In addition to that, there's also the players who transfer from the Xbox 360 or PS3 version. In addition to receiving some free new weapons that it says in the article, it also says a free new garage in GTA Online, which could mean if you transfer your progress over and you have two garages, that could possibly mean we're going to see a third garage or some sort of modification to that feature. Anyway guys, that's all the info for today's video. What I want to know is what do you think of these new features coming to the PS4, Xbox One, and PC versions of GTA 5? On that note, I'm also a bit curious and I'm wondering if you weren't planning on getting the remastered version of GTA 5, did any of these features change your mind? Be sure to leave a comment below. As always, I want to thank you for watching the video. I really do appreciate it. And if you did enjoy this video and want to see more, definitely be sure to press that subscribe button. In accordance to my new schedule, which is one short and one long video a day, I'm going to be uploading a live stream, which is going to be live on YouTube in just a little bit. So definitely come be sure to check that out. And if you're subscribed, you should get a notification and you can come chat live with me. That's either going to be GTA 5 or Destiny. So definitely be on the lookout for that. If you just want an easy way, you can just follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash typical gamer world. Definitely notify you when I'm starting. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and peace out.